what kind of changes can we expect in our faces as we get older? We tend to lose collagen and elastin in our skin. We do develop sun damage, which I have a lot of on my chest. I wear makeup on my face to cover it. Unfortunately, that is irreversible. Things you can do to prevent age-related changes to your skin, sunblock. I really wish I had been wearing it more. Things that we can do to improve the quality of the skin include medical grade skin care. Medical grade really just means it contains the highest concentration of the active ingredient. There tends to be less marketing with it, less packaging, and it really is only available at a doctor's office. We have laser treatments, photofacials, microneedling, and there are lots of other treatments that are available in board certified plastic surgeons offices like mine that can help to rejuvenate your skin. Lastly, as we get older, we not only lose soft tissue mass in our face, but we lose bony mass as well. And that's where fillers can come in. We develop atrophy of our cheekbones. This is called the zygoma, our orbital bones, and also our jawline. And there are some fillers that are designated and FDA approved to be injected deep on top of the bone to help to restore some of that bony volume. In our practice, natural aesthetics are key. Patients ask me all the time, like, oh, how do you look so good? I'm like, I do Botox and fillers. I haven't had any surgery on my face yet, but I think I'm doing pretty good for 52. And so I think the key is find a practitioner, such as a board certified plastic surgeon, who gets to know you, your aesthetics, and most of all, your anatomy. And you can age gracefully and put your best face forward. Personally, I think it should be done thoughtfully and gradually. You don't want to do everything all at once. And it does require some maintenance. Hopefully that helps you understand what happens to the face as we get older and what we can do to maintain our best beauty going forward.